he probably would attack someone if given the right circumstance. Yukai is a high content wolf dog. He is about 87.5% gray wolf. I was nervous the first time going in with Yukai. Yukai can be dangerous. I believe it's either five or less uh, volunteers that we have that can actually interact with Yukai. I was able to start working with him and understanding him, and he obviously allowed me to share space with him. Yukai is 12 years old, around 120 pounds. He's very tall, which is a normal wolf trait. Yukai has a fairly similar story to most of our animals that we have at the sanctuary. Um, so someone had obtained him in some way as a puppy, and they realized pretty quickly that he exhibits more wolf-like behavior versus dog-like behavior. He ended up at a shelter, which basically Wolf dogs, uh, or any dog that appears to be wolfy, they kind of are put first to be euthanized. So we were alerted and we stepped in and he's been with us ever since. This is just a, an example of what he normally eats. He eats a raw diet, so he gets chicken and pork. Sometimes he gets ground beef. They pretty much just annihilate this, and you don't want your fingers anywhere near a wolf's mouth when you're feeding it. Good boy. People have compared you guys to the dire wolves from Game of Thrones. I'm really happy that Yukai's picture went viral because people can see him and people can just admire him for what he is. So this one is actually, we are, I caught him mid-yawn. He's pretty relaxed with people taking his picture, but it looks pretty ferocious. Yukai is our most successful animal in the, in the sense of fame, for sure. The Shy Wolf Sanctuary is an um, exotic animal sanctuary. We mainly rescue animals that were bred to be pets uh, and ended up unwanted or abandoned for a multitude of reasons. He's amazing, isn't he? Look at those eyes. Hey, buddy. So Cimarron, we referred to him as a Florida panther because he was born and bred here in Florida. Um, but really, if you genetically tested him, you would probably uh, DNA test as a North American mountain lion. This guy is the biggest cat in the world that can still purr. So we do not interact directly with Simran. He's the one animal we have here where you don't. He was played with rough, uh, and he uh, doesn't know how to treat a human being without injuring us. Jasper came to us actually as a wolf dog, something we took advantage of, and he came back 100% gray wolf. So that's just an example of a, an animal being bought and sold as a wolf dog and actually turned out being a full-blooded wolf. Just one of the reasons why we wound up with him, the difficulty that the owner had taking care of him. If you hang back over here, there's a chance that he'll come up to me with you in here, but he may just end up pacing. He's scared. Come here, Jasper. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Come here, buddy. He's okay. Are you gonna howl for us? It's really exciting when we do get an opportunity to rescue a young animal. Uh, we took in two pups today. They're 14 weeks each. Uh, their names are Samson and Sierra, and they're wolf dogs. Hi.
This is our volunteer's first opportunity to interact with them. The lady who brought him down, she had some medical issues that prevented her from getting the animals. You see those back feet. Right now, at least, you would think that they, uh, that would indicate that these are gonna be fairly large animals. I'm seeing a lot of, of wolfiness in the, in the huge oversized paws, but I'm seeing a lot of German Shepherd-like stuff in the ears. You see how the ears are really oversized? They're pointy on the top. We've got a couple of other animals here like that. A year ago now, the sanctuary found out that Yukai had cancer. We don't really know the expectancy of what could come out of Yukai's illness, but so far, Yukai has just been in such high spirits. He's not showing any signs of pain. He's an awesome animal, he's amazing. He had a rough start, someone abandoned him, and I'm so glad that Shy Wolf was able to step in and give him a home where he can just have so much affection and so much love given to him. As far as our future goes, we are trying to get to a larger property uh, and build a state-of-the-art uh, facility. Uh, right now, we've been surviving on two and a half acres of land for almost 30 years. If I have 20 times the space I have now, then I have 20 times the you guys that I can rescue, and that's what we're here to do.